Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a video that I don't think I've ever filmed anything like this before. And I was going through products and I was just kind of like taking inventory of stuff that wasn't really working out so well for me. And I was like, you know what? Let me do a video talking about these Judas products that are full of betrayal. And you know, I just wanna see, are you guys experiencing the same things as I am? Am I doing something wrong? You know, each one teach one. I'm hoping that we can fellowship in the comments, maybe come to a general consensus on, is this my fault or do these products just not like you after a certain amount of time? So, you know, whew. So that being said, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. If anyone's wondering where Dash is, and he wasn't in the last video, he's also not in this ask and you shall receive i just spoke him up so th there he is I'm about to say he's in my room but now he's in this room laying down the beautiful little angel that he is Alrighty, so let's just go ahead and jump right into the products i have five products today so let's just go and get into them and this is in no particular order the first one is the mark anthony true professional strictly curls perfect curl seven in one leave-in treatment foam i did a rip I was about to save a video. I've created that portmanteau before and I'm sticking with it apparently because I keep wanting to save a video. But so if we could just take a look at what's going on here. It's not so much the product that has betrayed me in this. It is the packaging. Let me just show you guys. It doesn't like, okay, so now this is disrespectful because I swear it barely comes out this much. Okay, now you, you kind of see it slowing now. This is so rude. You guys, I swear the packaging works and doesn't work. Now, I'm definitely gonna use this on my hair tonight because I feel like this on my hair, like in its current blowout state, will like leave some like really cute like curls if I do a flat twist. But just trust me on this, okay? I don't like how you embarrass me on camera. Okay, don't do that again. It sometimes just, it doesn't work. Like I'll be squeezing so much and like no products will come out. So I'm just really happy that it's working now. I feel like I'm gonna go ahead and just like keep squeezing <laughs> as much product as I can get out, you know, for my style tonight. I think that's enough, but just trust me on this. And I just want to know, do I have a faulty bottle or are you guys, are you leaving me? Hello? Bye. Hello? Goodbye. Um, I guess I was doing too much talking. Are you coming back? Ah, uh -uh, no, sir. Get out of that room. Dad, get out of that room. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ah, in here. Let's go. Dasho, Benaki, come here. Now. Thank you. These children do not listen. I'm trying to tell you. You are so cute. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I want to know, is it just me or do you guys have products with like this particular packaging as well? Like this actual item where the product just stops coming out? I don't, Comment down below, let me know. Maybe I'm just unlucky. Maybe I just got a faulty bottle, I don't know. Chill. Next item is actually a video that I post a video. An item that I posted a video on not too long ago and I will link that below as well. And if you guys wanna see some full on dash shenanigans, I highly recommend you go watch this video. It was the review I did on this edge control. This was the highest rated edge control that I could find on Sally's Beauty's website and I bought it, tried it out for you guys, so I will link the video below. I'm gonna be honest, um, most of the video seems to be about Dash after I edit it back, so I'll link it below so you guys can enjoy that. But um, this is the Silk Elements Mega Silk Extra Strength Edge Gel. Like I said, this is the highest rated one on Sally Beauty. And when I first used it, like, I kind of, I want to say underwhelmed, but <laughs> I'll let you guys watch the review for all of that. But basically, I felt like it was working decently enough for what an edge gel should be. And now, I don't know if it's because the weather has changed, so can you guys let me know? But now after I put this on my hair and go outside, it just turns white. And I don't know if it's because the product doesn't build, like you can't build this product, like layer it on top of, not other products, but like this product itself. Like I don't know if you can apply this one day, then apply it again, and it just becomes trash, or if it's the weather. So I don't know where this betrayal came from. I personally don't think I deserve this. I feel like I'm a good person. So the disrespect that is put out in the universe regarding how this is to me, I feel a way about it. 
and I want to know am I the only one being disrespected like is this a disrespect like reserved for me or is it also out here affecting other lives in our community I just need to know I'm just asking for a friend okay so um yeah I don't it just it is and it's crazy like it starts out super shiny you know edges are laid back and then just poof, turns into like a white cakey consistency once I was outside I don't know but I feel attacked and I'm kind of over it speaking of look what's going on with this in the interim of when I initially put it in that container I'm not sure if you guys care or not but I was interested so I showed you guys all right next product is the Moco de Gorilla Gorilla Snot Gel why did I say the Moco de Gorilla um Gorilla Snot Gel and I did damn did I do review all these I think I have a review on every single product that I've mentioned um yeah this actually worked really well for a watch and go I was super surprised but the betrayal and I realized this like later in the summer and I haven't used it like really since then is the whole th kind of dissipates after like a day or two to where there's no hold at all and I'm very confused because this is sir can you not give yourself a bath during mommy's video thank you so much sweet pea um yeah I wouldn't expect it from this product simply because this is supposed to be like a rock hard gel almost and like I said I'll link the video below but like I don't understand why the hold just into thin air into nothingness just complete bless you angel um yeah I don't I don't know it's just this went into like the ether that's where the hold went I, I just I don't know. I it's a mess. Um, I just I, why did this? I'm gonna try it again now that it's cooler outside to see if it still holds. But like in humidity, this didn't hold up that well. Like it didn't turn to complete like trash, but I definitely felt as though like I told someone a secret and they told everyone. Like that's how I felt. Like this did me. Like that's the level of betrayal because I was so confident that I could go out into like full-on you know Georgia humidity and be completely fine with this and I could until I don't know about August hit and it was like you thought you thought she was gonna be able to handle this August and September humidity think again so hmm oh, it's just me asking for myself all right next product is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Anti-Frizz Max Hold Gel and just as I've mentioned with the previous three products, I also have a review on this that I'll link below. But this, I really liked it. I feel like the first time I used it, but later on, and I don't know if I did something really right the first time, or if this is like the product has kind of become just caked up because it's gotten older and I may or may not have left the top like kind of slightly cracked. But this flakes on me so bad now to the point where I'm gonna continue to use it because I'm glutton for punishment and I hate wasting product. I have like a lot less, but also this flakes on me so, so bad. Like I can only wear my hair in a bun. Like I can only apply this with my hair in a bun and do not touch it or so help me God, it will look like I have snow flock on my shirt. And I don't know if anyone else has experienced this, if you know what caused it. Basically, I feel like this whole video is me questioning my life's choices and hoping you guys have advice for me when it comes to these hair products. Because like, why? Why is this happening to me? Why is this happening now? What did I do to deserve this? I feel like I put out good juju in the universe and with these products, I'm not getting it back. So yeah, there's that. Um, I just... <laughs> And I remember when I first tried these products, a couple of people, not everyone, but maybe out of, I don't know, say I got a hundred comments, maybe about five or 10 of them was like, hey, I got flakes. And I was like, oh, I might've gotten a couple flakes, but like nothing that really bothered me. And now it's like to the point, like Flake City, like I can't think of another product that gives me flakes this bad. And it's just this product, like not mixed with anything else. Like how do you, how you, like, I don't get it. I can understand not working well with others, but not working well with yourself. Like, how are you your own worst enemy? Maybe it's not, maybe it's not this. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm its worst enemy. I don't know. I didn't realize I don't have my bath water anymore. So either one or two things, it's filled with bubbles or my bathtub has completely overflowed. 
we're gonna hope for the former and uh, fingers crossed and get this video moving right along. Last product is the Up and Up Skin Refreshing Apricot Scrub. This is compared to St. Ives. This is a Target brand and the betrayal that came from this was something that I ended up learning on the interwebs. I feel like St. Ives used to be the go-to. It used to be the come through with the come through when you needed a nice facial scrub. And now I've learned on the interwebs that although it says gently scrubbed away dull surface cells, oil free dermatologist tested with 100% natural exfoliant formulated out parabens, it gives you like micro cuts in your face and can speed up the aging process and it's overall not good for your skin at all. And like why was no one telling me this when you know I was 15 because I thought I was doing something good for myself and by when I was 15 I also mean like a few months back when I continued to use this and didn't know and I can't even remember how I came about this I feel like it was probably somewhere on YouTube like I fell down like the YouTube well and you, know, you click on one thing and you're just you know learning about I don't know skincare and the next thing you know you're watching a full video on North Korea and why they have massive issues with famine that actually happened to me last night and i went on a full binge on north korea videos don't know why but i feel a lot uh feel a lot more worldly now and i'm subscribed to asian boss so there's that um how do we even get there see that's why my water is probably about to overflow I, i'm just doing the most so yeah this something that i will not continue to use because i know there like i should not um i feel like i could use this as a body scrub and i feel like i knew this already and then i feel like i associated this with like the saint eyes one and not this one for some reason because i swear I already knew this about like the facial scrub thing like it, it not being good for you as far as like the walnuts and then I feel like I continue to use it for some reason I don't know what's wrong with me so I'm just gonna I don't know I feel like I should throw this away because I feel like I found this out a year ago and then forgot I knew it and then just rediscovered it and was like I did know that already what am I thinking so um yeah anywho um I think that is it I don't know if this video was helpful for you guys I'm hoping it kind of can be helpful for me fingers crossed for myself um so yeah I think that is it I hope this video was helpful um like I said comment down below with any suggestions you have for me if you know what is going on with these products and why I've dealt with betrayal also just update in case anyone wants to know this is a uh, this has grown significantly this foam so you know I'm sure you guys were definitely invested in uh, what was going on with that foam lotion so you're welcome for that um yeah I think that is it I have rambled enough I'm hoping I have not completely flooded my upstairs I'm gonna go check it I'm pretending like I'm chill about this but I'm actually kind of nervous I'm hoping it's the bubble scene so yeah um that is it still have this on my hands um and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys